Did your effects ever cut out abruptly like this? In this tutorial we will discuss how to fix this and much more on the speed of effects coming right up. First of all, why would we want to change the speed of the effects? One, because changing the speed alters the mood of the projection. By going slow like this or fast like this. The perception is not the same and it's another tool we can work with to achieve our desired results. 2. Because by creating a hierarchy of effects we improve the quality of the project. Like here, the background has the fast speed effect in contrast to the very slow neon effect applied on the light head. If you want to learn more about how and why this works, I talked about this principle in another tutorial. Click on the top right corner or down below. Enough theory, let's get down to business. In this project we are going to apply an effect or generator. Both types support changing the speed of the animations. As a side note, the generator will always render the same animations. The effect will take into account the scanned image of the surface and the animation generated will interact with it. Here we are going to apply the effect called Neon Loop, which is right here. Because this will emphasize nicely how we can control the speed of the animations. There is one more step that I want to make and that is to make the effect to appear behind the lion head. In order to do that, we will apply a solid color of black to the surface matching the lion's head. If you want to understand more about this, check out my tutorial linked in the top right corner and down it in the description. The main control we are going to change, the speed of the animation, is called loop count and you can find it by selecting the effect or the generator and here in the right panel it's called loop count. By moving the slide to the right we get faster animations. By moving it to the left we slow them down. Now at the start of the video I promised to show you how we can fix the effects that end abruptly like what you're seeing right now. And to do that, we must understand why this is happening in the first place. This control is called loop count because it controls how many times the animation of the effect or generator takes place in the current slide. So, a one-time loop in a 5 second slide means the animation will take place in 5 seconds. A 5 times loop in a 5 second slide means the animation will take place in 1 second and it managed to repeat itself 5 times before the slide ends. So applying this knowledge to this situation means that the neon effect will take place 2.5 times during the slide's length of 5 seconds. And that means that when the slide will end and move to the next one or repeat itself, the effect will be halfway and that is the reason we see the animation jumping like that. So to fix it we must always select a round number for loop count. For example, 3. Lightform guide also suggests that the loop count number should be divisible to the slide duration. In this case 1 or 5. If the slide duration is set to 10 seconds, the loop count can be 1, 2, 5 or 10. But in my experiments, selecting any round number will avoid the jumping in animations. But how about slowing the animation down, slower than what the default speed is, which as you can remember is loop count 1. 
If you thought the thinker ring with the slight duration, you are correct. We will set the loop count to 1 and then we will increase the slide duration. So a 5 second neon loop will become a 10 second neon loop, which is twice as slow. That's it for this tutorial. If you found it useful, give it a thumbs up so more people will see it. Also, tell me in the comment section what other Lightform tutorials will you want to see next. And if you want to support me and learn more, subscribe to my channel. Until next time, see ya!